Okay, let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is um, just draw the basic shape of the body of the Bird of Paradise. Um, I decided not to use pencil, um, so I'm just using a very light shade of orange um, just so that I can see what I'm going to paint. And then I'm also just going to fill it in with some water um, because I'm going to do the wet on wet technique. So now I'm going to add my first bit of color, which is green. I'm going to start at the very tip and just push that color around. Um, for this Bird of Paradise, there's so many different color variations of this flower or plant, um, but I want to do a pretty colorful one today. So this lime green is my first color that I'm adding. Um, the second one I'm doing kind of like a turquoise blue. And if you notice, I'm starting um, away from that green and then pushing the color towards the green. And then once I get to that green, I'm going to use some water and blend it together. So when you look at a bird of paradise plant, that body, I'm not sure what you call it, but the body, um, the color really blends together very smoothly. And so as I'm painting with these watercolors, I want the colors, the different various colors to blend smoothly. Uh, now I'm gonna add some purple. Again, I'm adding the purple without touching the blue. Um, I'm going to blend those the last. So there I did add some water. I'm gonna blend that together so it's smooth. And you can kind of see some of that color pulling, to get, pulling together. So I'm gonna pick that up with the brush. And what I do is I just kind of dry the brush on the towel and then dab up that excess water. And I'm gonna add some yellow towards the stem. Little more purple, and I'm gonna blend them. And I don't want these to be too blended because then these colors will muddy, will get really muddy. Um, now I'm gonna do a fuchsia, kind of like a fuchsia dark pink at the very top. Blend this down, I'm gonna make a mistake. So that kind of bled a little too much because I didn't wait for that yellow to dry, but um, I'm just gonna pick up that color and fix it the best I can. Probably should have waited a little bit longer for that yellow to dry, but it's all right. We're gonna fix it and pick up that color. Um, now I'm gonna finish that top with that fuchsia and um, I really like adding color to the top because it really helps define the this part of the plant. And if you see, this line is gonna be pretty harsh when I first put this color on, but I'm gonna soften it up. So you can see how harsh that is. But I'm gonna use some water in a second once I get that color on. And it's important to do this before the paint dries. So you wanna put the paint on and then um, move that color around with some water just so that line isn't too harsh. You can kind of see it softening up right there. There we go. And that kind of pulled right there. I didn't like that. So I'm picking up that little bit of blue color so it's all smooth, the, color, the coloring smooth right there. Next thing I'm gonna do is add a little bit of yellow. I want a little pop of color right there on the tip. And by now that portion of the painting is dry, so that yellow isn't gonna get muddy with the other colors. Okay, now I'm gonna do, I don't know what you call this, I guess the petals, I'm not, the petals of the flower. Um, again, I'm not using pencil. I just decided I didn't wanna use it because these shapes are pretty simple. You can just get away doing it. With the, without having to trace it out first, but if you'd like to, you're more than welcome to do that. So I'm just starting with a light orange, and it's important when you're doing this, try not to do, you wanna really start off light. Whenever you're working with watercolors, you always wanna go with the lightest washes first, and then build up to the darker colors um, upon layers. So I'm doing my next petal. And as you're doing this, try not to do too much of an outline. Um, 
I'm not really going for an outline look. That first petal kind of has a little bit of an outline, but it's all right, because I'm going to go over with a darker color later. So going on to the next petal. And as I'm making this Bird of Paradise, I'm really I'm mostly just doing the wet on wet technique. So I'm putting that first layer of um, light color with water and then I'm going to get a darker color and add to it. And when you have wet on wet, it's really going to create more of a blended soft look. So here I am grabbing a little bit of the darker color. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of like a red orange and add this. So this is my second layer of paint. Notice how, again, I started with a really light color first and then my next layer I'm going a little bit darker. And so I'm just going to put this color on, this darker orange, and then I'm getting water and I'm going to push that paint around. So first put the paint on, grab some water and kind of push that around. And honestly, I'm kind of painting these a little loose. I don't really have too much of a technique. Um, just kind of pushing the paint around where I like it, what looks good to me. And here at the base of these orange petals, I want it to be light. If you look on the Bird of Paradise plants, they're usually pretty, the base of those petals are usually pretty light. Okay, while that dries, I'm gonna move on to the stem. So again, I'm not drawing anything. I'm just grabbing, uh, picking up a little bit of light green paint and I'm gonna um, just kind of sketch it out first with the paint and then I'll fill it in. And the stem is also just a really simple shape. So I'm just getting that first layer of light color of green. And I don't really want it to pull the, I don't want the color to pull in any area. So I'm kind of picking up any color right there. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the belly of this flower. She's thinking, she's thinking, she's thinking. Uh, and she's doing it, <laughs> okay. Um, I had to really think about this when I was doing it. So there's a harsh line, but I'm going to, again, I'm going to soften this up. I really wanted to, this flower to be vibrant. So I wanted another layer of paint that was a little bit darker. So I put that first, put a bit of color on it, and I'm going to soften it up with some water. I want all of these different colors on the body of this plant to really blend together and, and to avoid any harsh lines. So you can see right there, it's starting to lighten or to blend not be so harsh i'm gonna add a little bit more purple i really want that purple to pop i'm going to use some water to blend it around and maybe pick up some paint that i didn't want so i'm picking up a little paint right there and the way again the way you pick up paint in watercolor is you just dry your brush and then you just dab it on the area that you want to pick up some paint or pick up some color while it's still wet. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more green, a little bit more of this lime green. And the as I'm adding this lime green, it's dry underneath. That yellow and that other green, and that, that layer is already dry. Um, but that blue is still wet, and so I'm going to blend it in with that blue that I just put on, that second layer of that turquoise blue. So you can see how these colors are all blending together and there's um, it's not there's not any harsh lines. Okay, now I'm gonna add um, on these petals, there's always like these bluish purple petals, I guess you could say, leaves or petals. So I'm gonna, I save these for last. So I kind of have a light color of purple. I'm just gonna put a base on first. And I'm just trying to be careful not to overlap this orange petal next to it because I really want I want it's I want it to go behind. Another important note is that these orange 
petals next to what I'm these purple ones that I'm doing, they are dry. Um, it's important that they dry first so that as you're painting this purple, it doesn't blend into the orange petals. If it blends together, that's when color gets muddy. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more color to the stem, give it a little bit more dimension. Um, again, you can kind of see I lined it, but I don't want those lines to be harsh, so I'm gonna kind of pick that up and soften it up a little bit. Add a little bit more to these purple stems. And you could see at the base of that orange, I made a mistake. I did not know that that part was still wet. Um, but I, you can see I picked up that color, so it didn't bleed too much. So really make sure that those orange petals are dry before you add that purple. That way you don't, those colors don't bleed together and, and become muddy. We want these colors to be really pure and bright. I'm gonna add a little bit darker orange. So this is the third layer. I'm adding a little bit more, um, a little bit more of a darker orange to these petals so I really want a little bit more dimension and I really want these colors to pop. Adding a little bit more um, darker color to these purple stems or petals. And that's it. Thanks for watching.